Hello students, today we are going to learn relationship between zeros and coefficients of polynomials. Okay, so already we learned that what is the relation? That is, a if polynomial is f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c, then and if alpha and beta are zeros of this polynomial, alpha and beta are zeros of f of x then we know that already alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha into beta is equal to c by a ok so if sum and product of zeros are given means alpha and beta alpha plus beta is given and alpha into beta is given then how we form quadratic polynomial? Now we write general quadratic polynomial that is f of x is equal to x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. Okay, means here we can write k that is k means constant ok so general quadratic polynomial if sum of zeros are given and sum of zeros and product of zeros are given then we can construct quadratic polynomial by using this formula that is k into x square minus sum of zeros means alpha plus beta into x plus product of zeros means alpha into beta ok so suppose alpha plus beta is given 1 by 4 and alpha into beta is given 2 so quadratic polynomial for this we can form like this way f of x is equal to x square minus alpha plus beta that is 1 by 4 into x plus alpha into beta that is 2 k into x square minus x by 4 plus 2 so this is the quadratic polynomial whose form of zeros is alpha plus beta that is 1 by 4 and product of zeros that is alpha into beta is 2 ok so if sum and product is given we can form quadratic polynomial by using this ok now we will take one example if alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial x square minus 5x plus 4 find the value of alpha square plus beta square and alpha by beta plus beta by alpha ok so here quadratic polynomial is x square minus 5x plus 4 and alpha and beta are zeros alpha beta are zeros of fx now these two are zeros therefore alpha plus beta that is equal to minus b by a we know this relation so here minus of my b value of b is minus 5 so minus 5 upon value of a is 1 so it is 5 and alpha into beta that is a c by a. so c by c is 4 and upon a is 1 so that is a 4 ok now we have alpha plus beta and alpha into beta by using this we have to find the value of alpha square plus beta square ok so for this we have to use identity that is alpha plus beta bracket square so alpha plus beta bracket square we know that identity a, a plus b bracket square that is a square so alpha square beta square plus 2 alpha beta ok now we know that alpha plus beta and alpha into beta so we have to put here values alpha plus beta is 5 so 5 square is equal to alpha square plus beta square plus 2 into alpha beta is 4 so 2 into 4 so 5 square is 25 alpha square plus beta square plus 8 
so plus 8 we have to shift here so 25 minus 8 is equal to alpha square plus beta square so alpha square plus beta square is 25 minus 8 70 so alpha square plus beta square value is 70 similarly we have to find the value of alpha by beta plus beta by alpha so, this is first one second one alpha by beta plus beta by alpha first you have to make same denominator that is alpha square plus beta square upon alpha beta alpha square plus beta square we have directly value that is 70 so 70 divided by alpha beta value is 4 so alpha by beta plus beta by alpha is equal to 17 by 4 ok question do this if alpha and beta are the zeros of f of x is equal to x square minus 1 find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 2 alpha by beta and 2 beta by alpha ok so first what is given quadratic polynomial is given f of x is equal to x square minus 1 in standard form we can write like this way x square plus 0 into x because x term is not there so we can write 0 into x minus 1 so here value of b is 0 ok so this we can write like this way x square plus 0 x minus 1 and alpha and beta are zeros are given of this polynomial so alpha and beta are zeros of f of x now we know that relation alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a so minus value of b is 0 so 0 divided by 1 that is a 0 and alpha into beta is equal to c by a so value of c is minus 1 divided by 1 that is a minus 1 ok now we have to find a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 2 alpha by beta and 2 beta by alpha. Okay? So we have to find the sum of these zeros and product of these zeros. Okay? So first we have to find sum and product. So sum of zeros is equal to 2 alpha by beta plus 2 beta by alpha. Okay, because we have to find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are this. So first we have to find sum because we have this standard form of quadratic equation that is f of x is equal to x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. So we have to find sum and product and zeros are given this 2 alpha by beta and 2 beta by alpha. We have to find what is polynomial whose zeros are this. So first we have to find sum of this zeros. So sum of zeros is 2 alpha by beta plus 2 beta by alpha. So if we cross multiply 2 alpha square plus 2 beta square divided by alpha beta. So 2 we have to take common that is alpha square plus beta square upon alpha beta ok now we don't have value of alpha square plus beta square so again you have to find identity that is alpha plus beta bracket square so here I am giving 1 so first you have to find value of alpha square plus beta square by using this identity alpha plus beta bracket square is equal to alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta so alpha plus beta is 0 alpha square plus beta square we have to find value plus 2 alpha beta is minus 1 so value of alpha square plus beta square is minus 2 here if we shift here that is a plus 2 so alpha square plus beta square is 2 ok so sum of zeros is sum of zeros is equal to 2 into alpha plus alpha square plus beta square is 2 so 2 into 2 divided by alpha beta 
So alpha beta is minus one. So sum of zero is minus four. Okay. So similarly, we have to find product of zero. So product of zero is is equal to two alpha by beta into two beta by alpha. So here alpha cancel, beta cancel. Two two is four. Okay. So we have sum of zeros is minus four and product of zeros is four. So quadratic polynomial by using this f of x is equal to x square minus sum of zeros is minus four into x. Plus product of zeros is four. So quadratic polynomial is x square plus four x plus four. Okay. You can write here k also. That is the standard form k into. But this is also correct. If you don't write k, because here value of k is one. So if you don't write k here, that is also correct. Okay. So quadratic polynomial is k into x square plus four x plus four. Whose zeros are two alpha by beta and two beta by alpha. Okay. Yes. If alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial x square minus two x plus three, find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are alpha plus two and beta plus two. Okay. So similarly, we have to find here. We know that quadratic polynomial is k into x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. Okay. So first, what is given? Quadratic polynomial is x square minus 2x plus 3. Alpha and beta are zeros of f x. So we can find alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by that is the minus of minus 2 upon 1 that is 2 and alpha into beta is equal to c by that is 3 by 1. So three. Now we have to find quadratic polynomial whose zeros are alpha plus two and beta plus two. So first we have to find sum of these zeros. So sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus two plus beta plus two. So that is alpha plus beta plus four. So alpha plus beta we have. Two plus four, that is a six, and product of zeros alpha plus two into beta plus two. So if we find product of this alpha plus two into beta plus two, so if we multiply this alpha into beta plus two alpha plus two beta plus four. Okay, so if we simplify this again, alpha beta. If we take two common from these two terms, so two in bracket alpha plus beta plus four. So we have this value. So alpha beta is three plus two into alpha plus beta is two plus four. So three plus four plus four. So this is eleven. So sum of zeros is six. Product of zeros is eleven. So by using this, we can find quadratic polynomial. F of x is equal to k into x square minus sum of zeros. That is a six x plus product of zeros is eleven. So quadratic polynomial is x square minus six x plus eleven. Put zeros are alpha plus two and beta plus two. Okay. Next question is if alpha and beta are the zeros of f x is equal to four x square minus five x minus one, find the value of alpha square beta plus alpha beta square. Okay. So first, you have to write given quantities that is f x is equal to four x square minus five x minus one. Alpha and beta are zeros of f x. Then we have to find first alpha plus beta. That is minus b by a. So minus of minus five upon four. That is a five by four. 
and alpha into beta is equal to c by a. that is a minus one upon four. Okay, when we are taking coefficients like sine also. Okay, so here value of c is minus one, so minus one upon four. Here value of b is minus five, so minus of minus five is a plus five. Okay, so alpha beta is equal to c by a. that is minus one by four. Now we have to find the value of alpha square beta. Plus alpha beta square. Okay, so if we take alpha beta common, okay, if you observe this here, alpha beta is common. So if we take alpha beta common, what is remaining inside? Here alpha remain and here beta remain. So if we take alpha beta common, alpha plus beta remain inside. So here you have to put the values. Alpha into beta is minus. 1 by 4 and alpha plus beta is 5 by 4. So minus 1 by 4 into 5 by 4. That is minus 5 by 60. Okay. So value of alpha square beta plus alpha beta square is equal to minus 5 by 60. Okay. So similarly, if Alpha cube beta raised to four is the plus alpha beta alpha raised to four beta cube. We can take alpha cube beta cube common and then we have to find the value. Okay. Suppose if we have to find the value of alpha cube beta raised to four plus alpha raised to four beta cube. So here what is common? That is alpha cube into beta cube. Common. What is remain? Beta plus alpha. Okay. So alpha cube into beta cube. We can write like this way. Alpha into beta bracket raised to three. Okay. Suppose a raised to m. We have this laws of exponents. A raised to m into b raised to m. So we can write a into b raised to m. So similarly, alpha cube into beta cube. We can write alpha into beta cube. And beta plus alpha that is a alpha plus beta. So alpha into beta, we have this value suppose minus one by four raised to three, and alpha plus beta that is a five by four. So if we simplify, minus one by four cube is minus one upon sixty four, and into five by four, minus five upon Two fifty six. That is the value of this. So if we have to find value of alpha cube beta four beta raised to four plus alpha raised to four beta cube, value is minus five point two fifty six. Okay. So if you understand this now, after this we will start next point. That is the relationship between zeros and coefficients of. Now we learn for quadratic polynomials. So next point we will take for cubic polynomials. Okay.